Three vectorial dice, three vectorial dice. Okay, we're playing a game called Kino. I, I wasn't really familiar with the rules, but Teresa explained it to me. She was very nice. Basically, you pick six numbers. I think you maybe can pick more, but I picked six. And I picked all the perfect squares less than 40, because it's easy to remember. All the, the perfect squares less than 40. Less than 40, yeah. Yeah, that way I don't have to refer to my card all the time. Uh, oh, there's a new game up there. It looks like... Uh, yeah, I didn't get any numbers back there. Yeah, oh, no, 16. That's 16. I was going to go with prime numbers, but they didn't seem as lucky as perfect squares. Uh, all right. So it's, you so know, 36 on the bottom. Over. Well, we just, uh, you know, so, I don't know. Yeah. Keep going. I want to finish this. this? <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm going to finish it. You don't. All right. So we did that, right? And if you get three of the six, you get a dollar. Four of the six, you get three dollars. Five, you get ninety dollars. And six, you get... Fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So me and Paul are kind of trying to work out what the expected value is on that dollar. We've worked out that uh, you have about a one in three chance of getting your dollar back. Uh, but then you know we don't know about this, this other stuff. Uh, it's getting even worse. And worse. So. Uh, we're just taking an expected value, which in for a discrete random variable involves multiplying the uh, possible outcome times the probability, times its respective probability, and then summing those. <coughs> Fortunately, I have a calculator on my phone. It should be a lot more complicated than just having threes and sixes, right? Six, six years three. Yeah, but I mean, you've got 80 numbers that you're choosing from initially. So the, right? Okay, so say that you only pick three, your odds would be each each number has a one quarter odd of showing up, right? Mm -hmm. So if you only oh, were sure. picking three numbers, the odds would just be one in 64 yeah. of getting them all. So if you do all the combinations, you can Oh, actually, I'm. Oh, what's the biggest one you've seen so far? 7,500. 7,500. From? So it's if you get all six numbers. A $5 bet, yeah. A $5 bet. Uh, so it turns out the expected value of Kino at Rio, probably anywhere, is uh, 94 cents. So what that means is, in the long run, on average, every dollar that you give to the casino, you expect to get back 94 cents. Mm -hmm. 11. 11 is the best number. 11? <laughs> She's right right now. So, so just pick 11 five times. <laughs> See, this is a gambler's fallacy. It's like, well, those numbers haven't come up in a while, so mm -hmm. you know, they're bound to come up. But of course, that's totally false. Totally false. Each game is totally independent of the previous game. You see people at the roulette wheel, and and they and the roulette wheel they have a screen now, and it shows you like the last five spins. People are like, oh, those last five were all red, so the next one's got to be black. Come on, what are the odds of all? You know, yeah. they think, but it's just independent. It doesn't matter. The Twenty numbers show up, and then however many match. Nine. 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 All right. Oh man, Doc, I don't know. Yeah, not doing oh, too good. Go, so. 22. Good. This isn't going our way so far, though. We're only halfway through, right? Mm. Uh, I guess I'm up $8 because I won $10 playing a really stupid game called Casino War. Mm -hmm. um, and then I lost $2 on the slot machine. Yeah, yeah, so Doc, there. what did you pick for uh, your Kino numbers? Well, based on Teresa's suggestions, uh, I, I went 11. with it. She said 11 she, was good. She so said you 11. That, you got that locked in. And at the time she said that, I noticed that there was just a bunch of palindrome numbers, so I decided to go uh, just all the way down. Seven numbers, 11, 22, 33, 44, 85, 67, 77. So you got, you, got, uh, you got half your money back? Yeah, half my money back. I made... That's not bad. It's two bucks. Uh, yeah, so that's the optimistic way of thinking it. Really, you lost two dollars. <laughs> yeah, I didn't no, lose. No, won two dollars. <laughs> it was just on a four dollar bet. Are you, are you guys gonna play Kino? No. No. no? All right, just curious. So, yeah, do you want to so uh, Monzi says I, I I won two bucks. Uh, Paul says I lost two bucks. I mean, what do you think? Is this glass half full? <laughs> I don't know. Half empty. 